Hey, what's going on guys? It's uh, Ted back again with uh, Tech Vitamins and uh, today we're going to be taking a quick overview uh, of uh, Cyanogen Mod 9, uh, a, a ROM I'm running called uh, CM9 Reloaded uh, for the Kindle Fire. And um, you might be thinking to yourself, uh, haven't these been out for a little while? And uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, few uh, few ROMs have been floating around, uh, ice cream sandwich ROMs that is for uh, Kindle Fire. Um, <clears throat> and uh, the reason why we haven't, uh, you know, put out anything uh, a bit earlier covering those is just, just that uh, I really didn't want to put anything up because uh, the builds were, were um, I guess you could say beta, if you will. Um, and uh, this this one is as well, but uh, not not nearly as much. They've uh, ironed out a lot of the kinks. Um, you know, there was a there was a, a big problem with uh, the screen animation uh, changing for you. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, illustrate that here. So here I've got uh, Gmail open, and uh, as you can see, it will rotate without any problems now um, we were having some issues where it would kind of uh, freeze and, and hiccup uh, wouldn't rotate uh, properly uh, they've gotten that worked out um, some some uh, tablet version applications that had tablet versions were not uh, opening as a tablet look or, or feel it would just be like a big phone uh, but but um, they've gotten got most of the problems ironed out. There still is not any any hardware acceleration just yet. Uh, but a, a user on XDA is is working that out uh, as we speak right now. He's very very close. He's gotten uh, gotten the new kernel booting, um, but uh, still has some some issues to to work out. But um, uh, another another thing is uh, location services is kind of uh, kind of iffy works on some builds doesn't work on others and uh, have some issues with the uh, wireless um, dropping and uh, you know being a little bit inconsistent and then uh, you can sometimes get a sleep of death and what that is is that uh, when you put your tablet to sleep it won't wake up uh, you've got to power it off uh, by holding the power button for 10 seconds because there's no other physical buttons on the fire but enough about what hasn't been fixed like I said that's gonna that's gonna all be worked out soon with the with the new kernel uh, which the uh, developer on XDA is is very close to uh, getting out publicly for us uh, but uh, like I said enough of what uh, what still isn't working what is is great is that uh, all of the native uh, Google apps that come uh, on it on the tablet uh, or, or would come on a tablet if you if you were uh, just getting regular vanilla Android ice cream sandwich uh, work work great um, let's see I showed you I already pulled up um, Gmail uh, what else can we pull up here we can pull up Docs now this isn't a native one but you know I can get to get to all my items uh, very quickly um, this is actually shared by me and a couple people so that's why there's a whole bunch of junk in there but uh, gaps or I'm sorry um, Google Docs works works perfectly um, we can pull up Google Plus uh, so we can pull through the stream I mean I, I just the the overall responsiveness of the of this uh, ROM is has been great. Uh, touch screen issues seem to be uh, non-existent. A little a little hiccupy here and there. Um, another another great thing is um, the new ice cream sandwich browser, um, which uh, you can set to run full screen. And what I really really like about it <clears throat> is this little labs option. You can just kind of flick your finger out. You can see that you've got the back and forth, the reload, your favorites, and uh, to close or add a tab. Uh, but you know, browser is a browser, so don't need to look at that too much. Um, and uh, like I said, they they have uh, gotten pretty much all the issues out with uh, with apps that are supposed to uh, have a have a native tablet version. Those actually do run. Uh, so here I've got Evernote, and if you if you use Evernote, you're 
familiar with the phone version, it doesn't look anything like this. Um, this one is, uh, you know, formatted for a, a larger screen, takes advantage of that uh, bigger real estate, which is uh, always a good thing. And then uh, another one here I've got, uh, got installed on my phone I can show you for, uh, show you for comparison. Uh, this is going to be uh, the Flickster app. Uh, so as you can see here on the tablet, uh, it gives you, gives you like a double pane view. I'm just in the box office section. Uh, it gives you a little double pane view. Let's check out the Hunger Games because that's, uh, everybody's been raving about that. It's been making all this money at the box office. Uh, so click Hunger Games on the side, then it gives you the little synopsis and, you know, reviews and all that jazz on the right hand side. Now, comparing that to what it looks like on the phone, it is quite different. So we'll pull this up here on the phone, and we'll go to the box office view. I don't know what that was, a little hiccup. Uh, so we'll, we'll go ahead and, as you can see, it looks, looks pretty similar. Um, we'll click the Hunger Games as well, and you see we just get a, you know, like a toned down smaller version. So, back to the tablet, um, you know, as I've been running this, uh, did mention that uh, sometimes you will get that sleep of death issue. I have not run into that yet. Uh, of course, I'm, like I said, I've run, I'm running the uh, Cyanogen Mod 9 Reloaded ROM, which I'll, I'll put a note uh, down below if you uh, want a link to that. Uh, we can see, uh, pull up the uh, settings here. Uh, and about uh, it is running Android 4.0.3 I don't know if you can see that this thing here is a fingerprint bandit just attracts them can't can't stand it but price you gotta pay for uh, getting a tablet uh, Android 4.0.3 with the uh, kernel 2.6.35.7 and uh, again that's why we're having uh, having some issues here with uh, hardware acceleration uh, but again, we're very, very, well not we, I'm not doing anything, but the um, uh, user, like I said, uh, over at XDA is very close to getting the uh, 3.0 kernel, which will uh, bring hardware acceleration to the uh, Kindle Fire. So all you uh, Netflix users out there that are holding on, uh, rooting your tablet and getting this on here, it'll be all worth it soon once we get that kernel booting up. Uh, and right down here it is the uh, CM9 Reloaded ROM so yeah uh, stay tuned uh, this again was just a quick quick little look at uh, signage of my 9 on the uh, Kindle Fire but uh, I will be posting a, a part 2 to this here once we uh, get that 3.0 kernel running or, or 3.2 whatever it's going to be by then uh, but we'll have the uh, hardware acceleration going and uh, things should be running a lot nicer Thanks for watching and take care guys.